Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing the get to know me tag video. So I saw this kind of video from a couple YouTubers that I watch and it was actually really interesting. You did actually get to know them. And I thought, I've been on YouTube since 2015. I don't think I've done one of these kinds of videos before. So here we go. I've got my phone with all of the questions here. First one, where did you grow up? So I was born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is in Canada, and I grew up in Vancouver, Canada, which is where I currently am now. Oops, I answered the second question. Where do you currently live? Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Who is your best friend? That would have to be my business partner, Arit Esselin. I've known her since I was like 12 or 13 years old, since grade eight high school. How tall are you? Well, that's an interesting question. I'm 5'3". I think that might be average height. All right, next question, dogs or cats? Dogs generally, but I do find cats fascinating with their weird personalities. What year were you born? 1986. Are you in or have you gone to college? I did go to Kwantlen College for like two years until I dropped out, did not know what I was doing, decided to drop out because I didn't want to get into, at the time, the nursing program. I felt it wasn't for me. So before I could even get in, I pretty much just dropped out and then went back to work at McDonald's. What is your favorite drink? Um, I don't really have like a favorite beverage drink that I go to. I would say that water is a drink that I drink the most, but I do like my pops. So I do like A&W root beer and Coke. What is your spirit animal and why? Well, I think I would have to say the chimpanzee monkey. I feel very connected to it and I've always loved the chimpanzee monkey. I've done many projects on it as a kid. I sculpted a whole chimpanzee family out of plasticine and clay. I've drawn them many times. If you know my personality in real life, I'm quite silly as a person, very young acting, silly, quirky, that type of thing. All right, next question. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? I'm actually not wearing perfume, so there is no scent. Tea or coffee? Um, I don't really gravitate towards either one. If I'm not feeling well and I'm sick, then I'll drink like a lemon tea. If I choose a coffee drink, it would be something from this place called JJ Bean. They have this caramel macchiato, but I'm not one of those kinds of people that needs a coffee every day. Like I said, my number one beverage is water right now. What are your life goals? That's an interesting question. My life goals are to be happy, to do what makes me happy, whatever that is. Right now, it's YouTube, it's helping other people, it's showing people that there's another way in life. You don't necessarily have to go on the traditional route. What sports do you play or have you played? When I was younger, I was completely obsessed with basketball. Basketball was my life up until grade eight. B before that, I was playing all the time. When I found out that Michael Jordan shoots 100 free throws or something like that in a day and they like all go in, I would go to my backyard to our homemade uh, basketball hoop that my dad made that was like seven feet tall. And I would try and shoot 100 free throws every day after school, in the summer times, I was just always playing basketball. Have any books you read changed your life? Yes, I talk about this all the time to people that I meet. The book that changed my life was The Secret. I read that in 2008 and nine, and it pretty much set me on this path of being an entrepreneur, creating my own freedom, doing what I want in life. That book 
changed the perspective of everything for me. What is your favorite movie? I don't know that I have a specific favorite movie, but I'll tell you a time when I had a, a favorite movie. So when I was in high school, my favorite movie was The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. It was based on an Egyptian thing where they wake up the mummy and then the mummy's like wreaking havoc on in Egypt. And there was like the pyramids and sand and camels. And so I was really obsessed with that whole theme. And I would like act out certain parts of the movie in high school. And there was like the mummy one, two, and three, I think. Do you speak any languages and how well? So English is my main language. I can understand Tagalog, which is what my parents speak. So they're Filipino and I was born in Canada, but growing up, they used to speak to me in Tagalog and then I would answer back in English, and that's kind of how it still goes right now. They mix between English and Tagalog. When they can't say something really fast in English, they'll just revert back to Tagalog, and then I'll just respond back in English. So I can understand it quite well, but if I were to try and speak it, it would be pretty bad. I can also speak very little Hebrew. So Way back, uh, I think like maybe five years ago, I actually went to Jewish night school to try and learn a little bit of Hebrew. And if you guys don't know, my business partner and best friend, Orit, she is Israeli. And that's, uh, we went to Israel this past October and all her family was there. And Orit's family is always speaking Hebrew. So I can pick up quite a bit and I can say certain things here and there. Here, I'll try and say a line right now. I'll say a line like, Anime de Beret, Ketsat Ivrit. How would you describe your fashion sense? Well, it depends on what's happening. So throughout the week, I'm usually either in the office here, filming or working on the laptop, or I'm at my personal trainers at the gym working out. So during those times, it's a mixture of sporting gear and casualness. But when we're going to networking meetings, business stuff, I'll usually put on some sort of blazer and boots and pants. I'm not that crazy with fashion. Arit, my business partner, she's more into fashion than I am. What is your go-to hairstyle? I pretty much have two, this one, <laughs> and my hair up in a ponytail for working out. How many siblings do you have? I have one younger sister, she's one year younger, and when we were growing up, people thought we were twins. People think that we sound the same, and we often will just say the same things even though we haven't even heard the other person say something. So for instance, I'll say something, and then Arit will go and speak to my sister, and she'll say the exact same thing even though she didn't hear me say it. What is your go-to fast food order? So if I, if I am eating fast food, which is not that often, I will say right now it's an A and W burger, but I'm getting it lettuce wrapped. So no bun. Do you use a PC or a Mac? I have only used PC. Your most memorable vacation memory. This past October, when we went to the UK, Germany, the Netherlands, and Israel, each country had like a special moment. The UK was when we saw Stonehenge. That was so epic for me because I've always wanted to see Stonehenge. In Berlin, it was the Festival of Lights. They have uh, projections of art and they project them on buildings and they do like these videos and they're animated and it was just so abstract and cool and we don't have that kind of stuff here so it was really cool to see that they had done it all over Berlin. In the Netherlands, we rode these really old vintage Russian motorcycles with a sidecar in it and we got this whole private tour and we rode around in the country in the city seeing the windmills it was a once in a lifetime thing and in israel 
there's too many to count in there. Uh, we had an amazing time there. Amazing tour guides, Arena and AL. They really showed us a good time. Uh, camel riding, floating in the Dead Sea, seeing ancient ruins. There's too many to count. What are your morning slash evening routines? So in the morning for me, it's pretty simple. Wake up, eat something pretty quick, and then head over to our personal training session where our trainer gives us a crazy workout, like flipping tires, carrying these crazy heavy dumbbells. It's a great way to get all the stress and anxiety and whatever's going on. Whenever I'm feeling super stressed, I'm having anxiety about something, I'm angry. I know that going to the workout will make me feel better. I always feel better after the workout when I'm not feeling so good before. Evening routine, um, usually like to wind down with watching something funny. I love laughing, so I'm always looking for like funny shows or even inspirational shows as well. Usually I need to completely unwind the brain because I've been working it all day. So I need to watch something, like watch something that has nothing to do with business or work. Do you have any bad habits? Mm, don't we all? <laughs> um, probably I have a habit of pairing like junk food eating with certain things. So I'm trying to become a healthier person. So I think I mentioned this in the other video, like when I watch a movie, it's very hard for me to just sit there and watch the movie without getting like some burgers or nachos or popcorn. I've got to always have something, but it's not necessarily like I'm hungry and I I need that food. It's just like, oh, I'm watching a movie. Boom, need to have some pizza and pop and all that kind of stuff. So I'm working on that habit right now. All right, and last question here. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Let's see here. Um, okay, I'll tell you a couple things. One, I'm left-handed. Even though I use my scissors with my right hand, but I write with my left hand. Two, my favorite color is purple, plum purple, like an indigo type purple. It used to be lavender purple. And when I was younger, I asked my parents to paint my room lavender. My favorite number is three. I was born on the first day of spring and I really like to cook. I really like watching Gordon Ramsay and watching his cooking style. I cook for fun. I don't like baking. It's cooking. And Gordon Ramsay, in many interviews, and he's always talking about these scrambled eggs, and he makes them a certain way. And I've made that style of scrambled eggs so many times, and people have told me that they really like it. All right, I think we should end this video here. I think that is enough. That is the get to know me tag video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.